Hey guys, Shanti Phillips here with my brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video today. They're going to go out today, see if things came out, see if things are on sale today. Now today though, new release wise though, some of the bigger things that are coming out is uh, the Robert De Niro film, uh, The War with Grandpa, uh, that released today, as well as uh, The Craft Legacy. So those are the two main big ones that come out today. I believe there might be a handful of other things as well, but those are the two main ones that I know of offhand that are coming out today. Uh, there were a few things though last Tuesday though, when I was going to like the Walmarts and stuff and they didn't have uh, the movies out. So there were a handful of things that I didn't get to see last week. So hopefully, though, I can see some of those ones uh, today, though. Also, though, at the end of this video, is going to be a whole bunch of brand new DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K reviews for some DVDs and Blu-rays and 4Ks that I received to review and talk about for you guys. Some really, really cool stuff. So definitely stay tuned for those at the end of this video. And as always, too, let me know what you guys thought of the DVDs, Blu-rays, and 4Ks that I reviewed. If you guys have seen them, what you guys thought of them. Also, you guys plan on picking any of them up. But anyway, though, guys, let's get going and see what we can find today. Into Target we go. And one thing I want to let you guys know about is right now there's a little bit less than one week left to help out Revenge of the Zombies. That's one uh, horror film which I'm really, really excited about. I'm going to be, you know, one of the main characters in the film. I'm also going to be assistant directing on the film. You know, Will Clazo is the director and I'm going to be one of the assistant directors on it as well. So really excited about this one. And um, if you guys didn't hear as well, Daniel Baldwin just joined the cast of the film as well. So really, really excited about it. And um, you guys can check out the Indiegogo link. And like I said, there's only, uh, you know, less than one week left on that one. And there's some really cool perks on there. Like you guys can pre-order the movie on Blu-ray. There's producer perks. There's perks to act in the film as a zombie. All kinds of really cool ones. So definitely check that one out. Like I said, really, really excited about that one. And thanks again, guys, for the support. But check out the link below. Well, in the front of the store in here, though, I don't see anything new from this week, but they have updated it because they have, like, um, you know, Tenet, which released uh, last Tuesday in here. So they have those ones down here. So they have put some new stuff in here because, you know, for a while it's kind of been the same stuff and they kind of just put the Christmas stuff right here. But we'll check on the sides, too, just to make sure there's nothing else over here. Doesn't look like anything new here. And then we'll check over here. Yeah, nothing new here. I was just looking at these things too. Every time I see these things that you open up and you pull them and they make a noise and there's like a prize inside. I don't know if I'm the only person that's like this, but you know, like the first thing that comes to my mind is I always think of, you know, Mr. Bean, the New Year's episode one. <laughs> I don't know. It's like the first thing I always think of is when he like puts a whole bunch of these like paper things inside of one of them and then pulls it at the end. I don't know. I, I don't know. That's the first thing I always think of, but we'll head over this section though and see, you know, what they have over there though. Yeah, but in there, though, in the actual section, no, nothing new. It was all the same stuff from last week and everything like that. I didn't see anything new. The only, like I said, the mainly, the only things that I think they would have had in there today would have been Craft Legacy and the, um, you know, War with Grandpa. I also want to make sure to mention, too, uh, with the, um, you know, the Indiegogo for Revenge of the Zombies, the one I was just uh, talking about, they're also putting up a few uh, brand new perks on there as well that are just going up. Like, there's one where you guys can be a newscaster in the movie, and that's one of those things you guys can shoot from your house. So that one's getting added up on there. Uh, and then some of the other ones on there is, like, your face in the film. Uh, they're adding that perk on there, uh, as well as a uh, featured zombie, you know, seen like getting killed by a zombie is getting added in there as well as for you know some of the brand new perks that are beginning going up for that one but now though we're going to head over to uh the other the walmart over here this one the last probably like three or four weeks has not really changed out much at all we'll see if maybe they finally update this stuff because they haven't had out like a lot of the new stuff in a really long time i think like last week for the first time i think i saw tenant which was like the only thing new that they had changed in a long time but we'll go there first and then we're going to probably head to a uh, different Walmart, one that I haven't been doing in a couple weeks, so hopefully that one will have like out all the other stuff that the other past weeks I have, you know, didn't see, you know, last Tuesday. And there's been a couple other things that just have not popped up in some of the stores, so hopefully we can find it at the other Walmart too. But we're headed to this one first. This one never has, like I said, much luck, but we'll see. Maybe today it will have changed, but you never know. But we're head over there now. Into Walmart we go. Luckily enough though, all the places that I've been going today have not had like big lines to get inside. Cause like, you know, I was at the mall yesterday and like pretty much like most of the stores, like the stores everyone was going into had like, you know, they were keeping count of how many people could go in at a time cause of like the limited amount. And like, it was crazy. You go by the mall and there'd be like lines of like 20, 30, 40, 50 people. Like Bath and Body Works probably had like a line of maybe a hundred people to get into it. So luckily enough though, 
it's not like that in these stores today. I was kind of surprised though there, there wasn't going to be that, uh, you know, stock, you know, that uh, busy. But we'll head over to the movies though, and see what they have. Like I said, fingers crossed they have not changed out these movies in forever. But looking now, it's not looking good again. But <laughs> one of these days, this stuff will be out. But one of these days. Yeah, see, it was like, like I said, last Tuesday they put Tenant out and you saw these, but then there's all the other uh, spaces just are empty and they just keep changing everything out. So like right here it has the spaces for them. It's like War with Grandpa, $22.99 for the Blu-ray, uh, $17.96 for the DVD. A uh, Craft Legacy, the Blu-ray is going to be $19.96. DVD is going to be $17.96. So yeah, so they, they have all the spots for them. Jujitsu, Cobra Kai Season 1, I guess there's like another edition of that that's coming out today. Uh, other than that though, these are all the other things from last week. But you, you see, and people have all been saying too, you know, how dusty it is. And yeah, and it's also even like road inside of this. It's just like getting so dusty of nothing changed. <laughs> but other than that though, they do have some, some of these ones I think might have come out today. I don't know if they were this week or not. I think some of these might have been new, like this one, uh, Christmas Hero. I don't know if this was, I don't, at least I don't remember seeing this one. So this one might have been today. And there's some more of these uh, Hallmark Christmas ones, like uh, Time for You to Come Home for Christmas, uh, Christmas at Dollywood, which I won't lie, you know, uh, that might be kind of interesting because it was shot, I think, at Dollywood. So, and that's a theme park. And you know, I love anything that's filmed in theme parks. And it stars, you know, Winnie Cooper in here too. So. I won't lie, th th I might actually watch this one just because it's filmed at a theme park. And I, I hopefully a lot of it is um, in here. Operation Thinks they Handle. So I'm guessing it's in the theme park. I don't know, because Dollywood is the theme park. So I don't know if they like, hopefully they did, because that would be kind of interesting. But other than that though, they have um, Christmas in Rome. Uh, and these ones are just some other like older things here. But let's peek in the actual section and see as well. But let's see. Yeah, looking in here though, no, I don't see anything new. It's all still like picked over in here. And you see like all the spaces and everything. So yeah, like, and some of these things have yet to ever be, I've never, still haven't come in here. Like the Bobbleheads, the movie hasn't shown up in here yet. A whole lot of these things. So yeah, we'll head to another one though, the one I haven't been to in a couple weeks and hopefully that one will have this stuff though. Yeah, so in there though, I ended up getting that one that was, you know, filmed in uh, Dollywood. Like I said, I don't know anything about it. I was reading it and it, and it was, looks like it was shot there. And I don't know, I, like I said, I always love things shot at theme parks and all that kind of stuff. So definitely that's why I kind of wanted to watch that. But now though, gonna head uh, probably to um, the one Best Buy first and then out to the other, um, you know, uh, Walmart location. Hopefully that one will have the new stuff out because like I said this one I always check it because I just want to see the one week when I come in here and everything will be changed out all the new movies will be out because like one day it will, it will happen in there I don't know when but someday it will have to happen you know, but, or like I'll go in there sometime and there to be like they'll just be like oh yeah we just don't have the movies anymore in this particular location because we never put them out or, or I, I doubt that or happen but someday someday that location will be fully updated but who knows when, but we'll keep checking until the day happens. Into Best Buy we go. So we're we'll head on over to the movies and see what they have in here. And hopefully they have all this stuff out. This is the one, I haven't been to this particular location in maybe like a month or so. I've been to like the other one. Because the one has been really doing a good job on getting the new stuff out. But looking in here though, I am seeing uh, a bunch of stuff in here. Like a lot of stuff from last Tuesday was like, you know, Chick Fight, uh, the, you know, The Dark and Wicked. But some of the new ones in here, though, I'm just gonna check just to make sure there's nothing else mixed in down here. But some of the newer ones that were today, though, was, you know, The War with Grandpa, and that one is uh, $22.99 for that one. I'm gonna have a review of this one at the end of this video. I thought this was actually a kind of a fun movie. It's really over the top and goofy and everything. But if you guys wanna watch this like a fun movie, that was one I would definitely would recommend. And also The Craft Legacy, that one is on $19.99 for that one. And I'll have a review of this one soon. I'm waiting on a review copy of this. But I definitely look forward to seeing this one. If you guys have checked this one out though, let me know what you guys thought of this one. I always loved the original 
original film, and from what I heard, this is technically considered a sequel to it. It's all different people in it, but it's apparently it's considered a sequel to it from what I have heard. And I don't know if this was this week or last week, this um, Battle of the Bulge, uh, you know, Winter at War. I think that this, I'm pretty sure this was last Tuesday. But other than that, though, I don't see anything else new in here. Let me just check around here, too. They have some stuff on sale, like this double feature here of Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure and Bogus Journey for only $8.99. It doesn't have all the features, but definitely a really, really great price for this one. If you guys have never seen these ones, but let's see if there's anything else new on these like the christmas stuff here but here's some of the new releases here i don't see anything it seems to be all the same stuff here let's check around back on this side yeah all these ones for last week like this uh spirited away and castle in the sky uh, steelbooks here uh tenant i don't see any of the tenant steelbooks because i think i think i believe there was one that was sold out last tuesday as well other than that though i don't see anything else uh different here though yeah, it seems to be all the same, the, all the major things here. There was like a sale thing here too. I think this has been around for a little bit. It's like stuff for like $4.99, like Mrs. Doubtfire, Dodgeball, $5.99. So like older uh, catalog releases and stuff like that here. But other than that though, like I said, don't see anything else here different though as far as I can tell. But now gonna head over to a uh, different Walmart. So fingers crossed, hopefully uh, that one will have out the new stuff. Luckily enough though, like I've been saying though in the past couple of videos, the Best Buy has done a good job on having out a lot of the new stuff because for a while they didn't have out a lot of the stuff at all. And it was always Walmart that always did. But now it's become kind of like more like, uh, you know, it was hit and miss at Walmart. Now it's kind of like a lot of misses. Until you, you, and then sometimes, like I've been saying a lot, you find the one location that like has out the stuff, and you go, oh yeah, this one's been having it out, all the new releases out for weeks now. Then you go in there, and all of a sudden, it changes. <laughs> so that's kind of like what it was like in the uh, first Walmart that I was at. That one used to always have everything, you know, always continuously. I was like, oh wow, they're getting everything all the time. And now, as you see, if you've seen, if you guys have seen the videos the last couple weeks, <laughs> nothing. But if you guys are wondering why I'm walking, I'm got to look in the in the market over here for something real quick. But then gonna head though over to the um, the other Walmart. So like I said, fingers crossed. And like I said, I was you know running into the market and stuff. And um, those wanting though, they do have some movies in here, so they have some stuff. You know, so you you can see some movies in here. I'm just getting some random stuff. But yeah, they have like you know just sort of you know common stuff like Willy Wonka and parenthood and stuff like that in here so yeah there are some movies in here in this wind co like this triple feature here with kingpin zoolander and anchorman which i don't think i've ever actually seen that particular edition in here and urban cowboy and stuff like that but yeah like i said now i'm gonna head over to the um to the other walmart into the second walmart we go yeah, fingers crossed in here. You know, hopefully they have out the uh, the new stuff. This one has usually been pretty decent in the past. Uh, they've had stuff like here and there not out. This one does, you know, lock up a lot of the movies in here though. But I, I'm peeking now and I am seeing some new stuff. So at least this one has the stuff out in here. Like I said, I don't know why the first one is always like that though. I can't figure out what's going on there. Yeah, taking a look in here though, like I said, they, they do have the new stuff out in here. So they have, you know, Tenant from last week, but then they have The War with Grandpa in here, and it's gonna be $22.96 for the Blu-ray DVD combo, and then $17.96 for the DVD of that one. And then they put like Karate Kid here in the front. I think these are like the same editions. You know, they're just like, put, they're just promoting them again, I believe. I don't think there's anything new about these ones here. But then they have the Craft Legacy here, and then it's $19.96 for the Blu-ray of that one, and then $17.96 for the DVD. And like I said, if you guys have seen this one though, let me know how it was, but I should be getting a copy uh, soon for it to review. I definitely look forward to checking it out. And I see down here Cobra Kai, and I think this is like, might be like a non-special edition version, or like the one edition originally had like a headband with it, and this might be the same edition, but like minus the headband, I believe. Other than that though, here though, I see though some of the newer Christmas ones, like they have like the Christmas at Dollywood one that I just showed, the other store, and the other Christmas ones here. Nothing else new here though, but we'll take a look though in the actual section to see if they have any of the other stuff that they haven't had out the past couple weeks. Like there should be some new stuff here, but I don't see anything. Like, see, look, it's real, real picked over right in here. So yeah, I don't see anything else really new here. Let's see if there's anything else down here. But no, so it doesn't look like they have 
any of like the stuff from last week in here. It's so weird. It's so weird how different the stores all are. You know, what I mean? like the ones have some, some don't have the other. It's always so strange. But no, it doesn't look like this. Like I said, it doesn't look like there's anything else uh, different in here. But at least though, they had out the main new ones in here. And then like they do have some more movies over here. So there's more Christmas ones over here. And then like, um, yeah, these are just all a bunch of, you know, some of the older releases and stuff like that. But at least they had some of the new stuff out in here, though. Well, mainly all the new stuff from this week, but none of the other past week stuff. But hopefully next Tuesday we'll see all the stuff that we, that we keep missing. <laughs> yes, but at least they had some of the stuff, though. But I think I'll head to one more Walmart because I actually have to get some... Um, food stuff as well and that particular Walmart though like the food section is really small and there's not a whole lot of stuff so I'll look at one more this one though has not been that great <laughs> for the movies but we'll see if just in case that one has any of the other recent stuff but we shall see though into the third Walmart we go so taking a look in here though i'm trying to see if there's anything else different here i haven't seen any other stores there's another like a, t a lifetime christmas one here which has like two different christmas ones in here always and forever christmas and staging christmas i don't remember seeing these ones in any of the other stores it said it to that it says 2019 in the back so it might be an older one let's see if there's anything else mixed in in here i don't know if they have any different ones that they haven't had in the other locations but looking in here though i don't see anything different that I don't see from the last couple of weeks. I know, are they, did they have the Christmas one that I got in here? So yeah, th this is a different one. Uh, Snowbound uh, Chris for Christmas. But like I said, taking a look here, just trying to make sure there's nothing different in here. Uh, this is one of the ones that I hadn't seen. Uh, this came out a while back, but I hadn't really seen this in any of these ones. This one, um, this SOS movie here, uh, SOS or Survive or Sacrifice, uh, this one here. Like I said, this one was out a little while ago, but I hadn't actually seen this in any of the stores yet. Uh, other than that, though, here, all these ones were from the past couple weeks. Uh, this was, I think this might have been like two weeks ago, this Proxima movie, which I have not seen this one. This one with, with um, you know, Eva Green and Matt Dillon. If you guys have seen this one, though, let me know if this one is worth uh, picking up or not. Like I said, I have not heard much about it or anything like that. Uh, other than that, though, let's just see, just making sure there's nothing mixed in here this is all older stuff but yeah don't, don't see anything else really different here these ones are all like 996 movies there are some stuff mixed in here that are newer ones like red rage that's a newer one kind of mixed in so sometimes you have to really look because sometimes stuff gets kind of mixed in like this deadheading one here this is kind of mixed in so sometimes they can kind of randomly be in here this is one of the, the locations that has more movies and some of the other ones that I have I've noticed but yeah just not seeing anything else different new from the past couple weeks here this is like the five dollar section over here and there's some more stuff over here these are like 375 for all these ones like frenzy distorted over here but yeah nothing seemed to be anything else different but just wanted to check though just to see though because you never know so anyway though guys, that was all for my DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video today. Like I always say, if you guys enjoy these shopping videos, uh, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Also though, leave me comments below though and let me know anything new that you guys have picked up on DVD, Blu-ray, or 4K if you guys ended up picking up anything new today. Also be sure as well too to let me know anything new that you guys have been watching on streaming, any new movies you guys have been checking out, or any new TV shows or any of that kind of stuff. Let me know below stuff you guys have been watching. Also be sure as well to let you get me know me know what you guys thought of the DVDs, Blu-rays, and 4Ks that are viewed at the end of this video if you guys have seen them, what you guys thought of them, and also if you guys plan on picking any of them up. And also too, be sure to check out the Indiegogo campaign, like I was saying, for the last, like I think it's like like last like six days or so for uh, Revenge of the Zombies, the upcoming zombie film, which I'm going to be acting in, which is one I'm really excited about, so definitely check out the link below for that one, and check out the brand new perks on there, and one of the brand new ones is to be a victim in the movie, a zombie victim, it's a $100 perk that just went up uh, today for that one, and that will be shooting out in California in March, for those of you guys who are wondering uh, where that one will be shooting that stuff, but anyway though guys, now stay tuned for the brand new reviews.
And the first ones I got here are all from Arrow Video. They sent over some really cool releases here to let you guys know that are available. And the first one, though, from Arrow Video, and this is one that when I heard this was releasing to 4K, I was so excited because I absolutely love this film. Uh, you know, I, I remember watching this one for the very first time as a kid on VHS and how much I love this. And I've watched, you know, all the sequels to this to this series. You know, I believe that, I think it was six sequels in total and then seven films, you know, seven films in total and six sequels. There's also a TV series, which I remember. And I watched a couple episodes of the TV series. I never, I didn't watch all of the series though, but I watched all of the films. And this one here is Tremors, and this is the brand new 4K uh, edition here. Now keep in mind though, with this edition, uh, this only includes the 4K version of the film. It does not include a Blu-ray as well. So keep that in mind. So make sure if you get this edition, because there's one that's a, a Blu-ray edition as well, uh, make sure though you keep that in mind that this edition that's the 4K one only includes the 4K disc of the film. But then it also includes a special features disc, which is a limited edition exclusive. Now the special features disc though, that is a, um, a Blu-ray disc. But if you guys don't know the, the Tremors, you know, the film Tremors, it's basically though about this small town out in the middle and, you know, out in the middle of the desert, out in the middle of nowhere. And it follows around, you know, Kevin Bacon and Fred Ward's characters who like, you know, work out there and they really want to get out of the town. They're really kind of tired of this town. There's like, it's kind of like there's not a whole lot to do there or anything. But then there ends up being like, um, you know, there's these weird like worm type creatures under ground and they kind of discover about what's going on and everything and Michael Gross is in the movie you know Michael Gross went on to be in all the films and I believe he was in the TV series as well. And Michael Gross like works at the one store, and he's kind of like a guy that has like he's kind of like a doomsday prepper kind of guy. So he's like kind of waiting for something like this to happen. So like he joins up with them when they find out about these like weird, gigantic, you know, worm-like creatures underground that are like attacking people. So basically, it's them in the town all trying to figure out how to survive and how to get rid of these gigantic tremors, which is these like I said, these huge worm-like creatures. It is a really fun film. Uh, you know, it has like a you know, especially the first movie it has like a like a 1950s and that's what they were going for like a real like 90, 1950s kind of b movie kind of vibe to it and everything and has that kind of like 50s vibe it's just a really fun film i like i said i liked all the sequels as well but the first movie is always the best of all of them though i thought like the characters and everything in here uh and i i hope one day too that we do get a a, a move like a sequel film with kevin bacon you know and fred uh, ward coming back because they made a pilot for a tv series that didn't end up happening which i would lo love to see that someday i think that would have been so cool if they would put that out somewhere on on blu-ray or something like that because it would be cool to see that because they did make like I think it was like a 40 minute pilot or something like that for you know for like kind of like a reboot with the characters coming back uh, but on here though feature wise this is the limited edition one so the limited edition one includes the limited edition bonus disc but I'll let you guys know some of the features that are on here so it has on here though the 4k transfer on here and the 4k picture on here is great this one looks amazing here on 4k you know they did such a great job cleaning up the film it has on here though a brand new commentary track on here with um, the author of Seeking Perfection the Unofficial Guide to Tremors it has on here though a new commentary track on here with the director as well as the producers on writer and producers it has a brand new uh, documentary on here it has interviews with Kevin Bacon Michael Gross uh, Ron Underwood some of the producers and it talks about like the making of the film the locations all that kind of stuff it has on here a new interview with the director of photography a brand new interview on here with the uh, the film's composer uh, brand new um, you know it has on here though uh, assembled like the overdub like the TV edit some of the dialogue and some of the changes that they make for like the TV version so it has a feature on there showing some of the dubbed over lines and stuff like that. It has a um, making of Tremors, an archival 1995 documentary on here. It has uh, on-set camcorder footage, making of the Graboids on here, electronic press kit featurette with interviews with Kevin Bacon, Michael Gross, Reba McIntyre. It has deleted scenes on here, uh, theatrical trailers, TV spots, uh, you know, uh, still galleries, all kinds of stuff. So lots and lots of uh, features on here. Now on this second disc, it has an extended hour-long interviews on here. With, with, you know, interviews with the director, the producers, Nancy Roberts, uh, Creature Effects designer. Uh, it has outtakes on it, on this one. Uh, three early short films by the makers of Tremors on here. So, like I said, lots of features on here. I'll show you guys, though, a look inside. And it's in this hardbound case here. In here, though, it has this, like, um, American Graboid, which is, like, kind of like a diagram of the um, the Graboid, the, the worm-like creature. Then it has, you know, the city of um, perfection, you know, the small town where the movie takes place. And then in here, too, there is a poster 
And you get a double-sided poster, which has the brand new artwork, which is on the front of the, the 4K. And then it also has, so here's the brand new artwork here. And then here's a look at the original poster. This is the one I always remember, like seeing this on the VHS as a kid and everything. Like I always loved uh, this image because it was kind of a takeoff on Jaws. It was kind of like the look they were going for with it. And then also in here too, there is a, uh, a booklet in here which has, you know, stuff about the production. It has a bunch of behind the scenes stills and stuff like that about the cast, all that kind of stuff in here. And then inside of the, um, with the 4K, it also had in here too, this little like, um, you know, like kind of 50% off thing for, you know, um, the st general store in the movie. It also has in here lobby cards. So it has like the original poster on here and then it has like like still lobby cards uh, from the film. So here's some of the, um, sorry, dropping these things. So here's a look at the um, the other lobby card in here. So I'm sorry, I'm like dropping things all over the place. Here's, um, you know, Kevin Bacon on there. Um, it's one of the other ones. But definitely a very, very cool. We see Michael Gross in there and the whole group trying to survive the tremors. And then it also has in here too an ad, you know, for Legend, which is I, you know, I've heard about this. Like that'd be really cool, you know. And I, I want, I don't know for sure though if it will be a 4K release, but really cool that they're going to be putting Legend out. I don't know for sure when that's going to release, but always love that movie. Also love the music in there by Tangerine Dream. And also though, there's a whole bunch more really cool releases here though from um, from Arrow Video. Let me just put all this stuff away in here correctly and now we'll go into some of the other stuff here uh well the other one here is a really really cool uh, collection here it's another hardbound case collection this is this is the set here called he came from the swamp the william uh, greff collection here now these are all films directed by william greff which were filmed in the uh, florida everglades and they're these kind of like it's it's uh, eight different movies that are on here it has a sting of death the Curse of uh, Tar Tartu, uh, The Hook Generation, The Psychedelic Priest, uh, Naked Zoo, Mako Jaws of Death, uh, Whiskey Mountain, uh, They Came from the Swamp. And on here, though, it also has on, you know, Came from the Swamp, though, is a documentary on the director. But it has on here, though, hours of content on here, brand new introductions to the films, uh, commentaries with the director on here, um, it has archival comment, you know, features, it has the trailers, still gallery, it has on here reversible sleeve on here, um, 60 page collector booklet in here. I'm going to show you guys, though, a look inside. These are really fun movies. Like, one of them is like killer, killer jellyfish, and one is like a guy who's controlling, you know, the shark. It's like these are really, really fun movies. I remember seeing some of these ones years and years back. Uh, but here's, I'm going to show you guys a look at the, the discs and everything. This one here has Mako Jaws of Death. It's a double feature. And these ones have reversible artwork, so you can kind of switch them. So it's like the one would be the Mako Jaws of Death, the other one would be the Naked Zoo. Uh, but on here, though, I'll let you guys know some of the features that are on these so like on this one here this one has brand new 2k restorations from the original film elements on here has a brand new commentary track for both films a uh, brand new introduction to the films of the director uh, william greff's original uh, director's cut of the naked zoo uh, alternate version of the naked zoo re-edited by its original theatrical distributor featuring added uh, gratuitous nudity performed um, by blues rockers canned heat uh, beyond the movie uh, that shark exploitation. It has on here talking about you know shark exploitation films. Uh, has on here Mako Eight Digest version, uh, original theatrical trailers, still galleries on here, and then the Hook Generation one has Psychedelic Priest. So like I said, that you can switch these ones out to different images. And on this one, it has the brand new 2K restorations. It has archival commentary by both films by the um, director and Frank Helen Letter. Uh, brand new introduction to the films with the director. Uh, beyond the movie, that's drug exploitation inside that the counterculture films inspired Hook Generations uh, with uh, author, film historian Chris P Pogari. It has Beyond the Movie, The Ultimate Road Trip, the story behind Psychedelic Priest. Uh, Hook Generations behind the scenes footage, still gallery. So lots and lots of features on these ones. Uh, the one here with, um, with Wh Whiskey Mountain, and that one has It Came from the Swamp. And then um, that it came from the swamp, though, is, you know, was that the one that was the documentary? I can't remember. Which, was that the, which one was the documentary? I think it was It Came from the Swamp. Um, yeah, that, so yeah, That Came from the Swamp was the documentary, which was talking about uh, the director's films. But on this one, it has a brand new 2K restoration from Whiskey Mountain. It has a brand new extended cut from It Came from the Swamp. 
Uh, it has the original uncompressed mono, mono uh, audio for Whiskey Mountain and incompressed incom stereo from the, um, it came from the swamp, or from they came from the swamp. It has a brand new commentary track on here on for Whiskey Mountain, uh, new introdu dust, uh, introduction to Whiskey Mountain, uh, the Crown Jewels, and it has an independent um, feature out in the independent studio and distribution company, uh, Crown International Pic uh, Pictures. They made, Crown International Pictures did tons and tons of films. I think they did, did they do some of the Harry Novak movies and stuff like that? I think they might have released some of them. Uh, it has on here the on location in Miami. Uh, you're showing the filming locations, uh, deleted scenes on they came uh, from the swamp, uh, bonus exploitation trailers. And then the last one here, this one has, you know, um, Death Curse and Sting of Death. Sting of Death was the jellyfish one. And that one has on there a 2K restoration, original uncompressed mono, uh, audio commentaries on both films, brand new introduction to the films. Uh, Beyond the Movie Monster Go Go, a look in the history of rock and roll monster movies with author and film historian Courtney, Courtney, uh, C. Courtney Johnner. Uh, the Curious Case of uh, Dr. Travis, Spook Show Extraordinaire, a ghoul's look inside the early Spook Show days with monster maker Doug Herbert. A theatrical trailer on this one. And also in here, too, is a, um, a poster. So there's a poster which has the, um, you know, a poster for the uh, documentary. And then, you know, um, welcome to the, um, for the whole box set. And then, yeah, so the box set, the image is on the front. Is it the front image on here? Yes, this is the front image um, on here. Sort of, the, it's, this is the sort of the front image that says, welcome to Florida. And this is kind of like the one that's on the booklet. Yeah, so this is the booklet image right here. But also it has in here, too, a booklet, which has, um, you know, stuff about the films and about the productions. I'll show you guys, though, a look inside of here but a really 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 cool set here's one of the jellyfish creatures in here but like uh, stuff on here like um stuff about the films and like behind the scenes and all that kind of stuff newspaper articles and original like poster artwork and all that kind of stuff but a really really cool release here and the next ones i got here are also from arrow video as well and these are ones i just want you guys know were available and this one here is the film uh, versus now this one though this one has the um original 2000 version of uh, versus on here on disc one and since this one is the um a limited edition this one also includes on disc two the ultimate versus which is the 2004 expanded version of um, you know the film this is a longer cut of the film and it is in a brand new director approved restoration of that one now on here though uh, feature wise this has you know a brand new 2k restoration from the original film elements by Arrow uh, films approved by the director on here and, and the ultimate versus has over 10 minutes of new and revised footage and uh, you know on here so that's what's new on the um, the ultimate version of the film and also has on here a comte track on here with the director and producer has a Conte track on here with the director and cast and crew has a vis visual essay on the career of the director by Japanese film expert Jasper Sharp has a behind the scenes documentary exploring the film's production it has on here though a feature at exploring the film's origins uh, some of the other things on here it has deleted scenes it has mini movies on here featuring characters from the main feature uh, making of uh, Nevers 2 on here. Uh, it has an on here um, versus FF version, which is a condensed 20 minute a minute uh, recut version of the film. It has multiple trailers, image gallery, and then on the ultimate versions, it has on here though the Japanese 6.1 and 2.0 um, uh, on here. It also includes the English language version. Uh, the and as well as uh, English subtitles, Conte track on here with the director, cast, and crew. On this one, I'll show you guys though a look inside here uh, as well. And in here too, it had an ad for you know the Tremors release, the 4K release. There all, there also is a, a non 4K as well too. In case, in case I didn't say that when I was showing the 4K, for if you guys didn't have the 4K capacities, it also has a booklet in here with has some stills from the movie, all that kind of stuff here as well. Uh, one of the other ones here uh, from. Um, Arrow video, and this is another 4K release, and this is from the Arrow Academy line, and this is, you know, the film um, Cinema Paradiso here, and like I said, this is a 4K edition here of Cinema Paradiso. Now, this one has on here, though, uh, the brand new 2K restoration from, of the theatrical version from the original camera negative, supervised by the director, and a 2K restoration of the director's cut. Yeah, the director's cut was, I think, like, um, I think it's like 50 minutes longer version of the film. This is a, a really great film, though, about this guy, though, you know, who, was, who, who went on 
wanted to become a director and it's basically though he when he was a kid he was a friend you know he was always going to this movie theaters and he became friends with the projectionist there he was always kind of talking to and stuff and you know this starts off with him finding out that the projectionist had died so he's basically going to his funeral and it's him kind of reminiscing and kind of remembering and remembering uh, this one person that he was dating and remembering kind of like just the kind of stuff that was going on in his life it kind of brings back a lot of memories but it's a really really well done film uh, looks amazing here on 4k but on here like I said it has the 4k restoration of the theatrical version as well as the um, you know the 2k restoration of the director's cut it has on here um, let's see what were some of the other ones on here commentary track on here with the director as well as Italian film expert um, Millet Marcus it has a 52-minute um, documentary profile on the director featuring interviews with, with the director and experts for excerpts from his ho early home uh, movies as well as interviews with the director, uh, Francesco Rossi. Uh, it has on here, though, a 22-minute documentary on the making of the film and the characters of, uh, of Toto and Alf Alf Alfredo on here. It has on here, though, uh, original uh, director's cut theatrical trailers and 25th anniversary re-release trailer on here. And I'll show you guys, though, a look inside here. And here's a look that has a booklet in here with some stuff about the uh, film and about the production. And the, this one is the 4K disc, which has, you know, the theatrical cut. And then this too is a, um, you know, a Blu-ray. And that one has the uh, director's cut. And the last one, though, from Arrow Video is another one that I want to let you guys know is available. And this is also from the Arrow Academy. And this is the, um, uh, this is uh, Su Survivor Ballads, three films by Sholey. Empero, uh, I'm, I'm I hopefully I'm I'm, totally, I'm probably saying the name very wrong. Um, Shoei Empero, I'm sorry, I'm, like I said, I don't know how to say it for sure correctly. But this one has on here the Ballad of Norma, uh, Z Zigan, and Black Rain are on this one. And this this one has on here though, uh, feature wise, this has a. Um, you know, restored high definition Blu-ray presentation of all three films. It has on the original Japanese um, mono soundtracks, English subtitles, brand new commentary tracks on all three films by um, Japanese cinema expert Jasper Sharp. Brand new in-depth um, appreciation on all three films by Tony Rayans. Uh, alternate color ending to Black Rain shot by Amara, but removed from the film uh, shortly before its release. Archival interviews on Black Rain with actress Yo Yokoshi Tanaka, as well as the assistant director. Uh, he was Tashi McKay. Uh, multiple trailers and image galleries on here. Original uh, Japanese press kits on these. On those ones are Blu-ray or uh, BD-ROM features. It has a limited 60-page uh, booklet in here. And I'll show you guys, though, a look inside here as well. And in here, though, here's a look, though, at Black Rain. And then Zygon and the Ballad of Norma Normama here. And then the other one in here, too, is also a booklet, which has some stuff, though, about the um, the film and stuff about the productions and all that kind of stuff, a bunch of different stills and all that kind of stuff here uh, as well. But like I said, some really, really cool releases here from Arrow Video. Uh, and like I said, really glad to get to, sh to show you guys like detailed looks at these ones here. Uh, the next one here, this one here is from uh, Universal. And this is one that I was really excited to watch because I like watching kind of like goofy, kind of crazy comedies like this when there's like all sorts of problems. And I always love Robert De Niro. And I like Robert De Niro doing comedy. Like, you know, he's amazing, you know, in, you know, in serious roles. But I always like him in like Meet the Parents as well and stuff like that when he's like playing these crazy crazy, goofy kind of roles. And this movie here is um, with stars Art De Niro, Uma Thurman, um, you know, Rob Regal, and Christopher Walken. And it also stars Cheech. And it's called The uh, War with Grandpa. And it's basically, though, about um, Robert De Niro's character who, like, he has, like, an accident and he ends up, like, you know, his, like, um, daughter, played by Uma Thurman, is like, you can't stay here. I don't want you living alone anymore. And, and he's like, well, I'm not going to an old folks' home. You're not going to make me do it. So she's like, well, you could stay and live with us with my, you know, you know, with my, my husband husband and my kids and everything and he's like oh okay I'll do it but where am I going to stay and basically the one son though uh because it's a, his room is like de like like you know not as many flights up uh they say well the you know grandpa really can't go up a whole lot of stairs so you you're, he's going to have to take your room and you can go up in, in the attic and he doesn't want to be up in the attic and there's like bats up there and there's like mice and rats and all this kind of stuff and he doesn't want to be up there so, so the second he gets up there that very first night he puts a note under his grandfather's door and says it's war you took my my room so basically those they both end up having this like secretive thing where they don't tell anyone else that's going on but they're basically like having like a prank war with each other where they're pranking each other and messing with each other's things and like you know uh, Robert De Niro is going and like taking all the screws out of everything in the kids room so like the chairs fall apart the beds fall apart like he's basically they're all messing with each other in all these crazy ways and things just get crazier and crazier as it goes along and you know Robert De Niro's character he's going and hanging out with his friends play by 
Christopher Walken and you know Cheats Marin and they're, and they're like you know uh, kind of finding out about like noticing that kind of weird stuff is going on and they're, I know, it's, it's a really really fun movie honestly I really enjoyed this one a lot on here this one doesn't have any features or anything on it but definitely one I would recommend you guys check out just a really really fun kind of crazy like like I said wacky over the top movie about these two just having like an uh, all out war with each other of all these crazy things because the kids are so mad that you know Mars De Niro's taking his room and the next one here is from Lion's Gate, and this is a movie here uh, called uh, Dragon Soldiers, which stars Ruben Pla. And um, you know, Ruben Pla was in like Insidious and a bunch of different um, movies throughout the years. And it's um, this also has Ariel um, Era Brackfield, which was I was you know. Um, you know, has a really great role in the film because her husband was the director of the movie too, uh, Hank Braxton. And, you know, they made a bunch of stuff I really liked. They did a movie called Chemical Peel, which was from a couple of years back, which was really cool. But Ariel, I met her years and years ago on this one movie, and then she was also in The Haunting of Whaley House. And, uh, you know, she's like one of the main characters in this movie. And it's, this is a really fun movie. It's basically, though, about like a group of these, um, like sort of like soldiers, the kind of hired soldiers, like mercenary kind of soldiers that kind of are like hired to go... Uh, by the mayor to go, in, I think the mayor or the governor, to go into the woods because basically in the woods people have gone missing out there and there's been all these kind of missing persons things that are going around. And uh, the mayor or governor, like I said, I can't remember for sure, but like he sends the, them out there to be to basically because he says that there's a whole lot of homeless people living out in the woods and he wants them to get rid of them. He doesn't know how to do it himself, but he wants to send this team in there to get rid of them. But, you know, you find out in the very beginning of this movie, in the very start of this movie, that there is a dragon out there. There's this dragon out in the middle of the woods, in the middle, like, middle of nowhere, and it's basically this team going out there, and then like um, they have to try and figure out how they're going to fight this dragon and what they're going to do. And there's all sorts of crazy stuff that's going on out there too, like all sorts of other things with the homeless populations that's living out there and what's going on with them with the dragon. There's all sorts of stuff, and then there's also this one like um, like kind of goofy guy that they come across that's kind of out in the woods, and I, I his character was my favorite character in here because like he had all these kind of like problems and stuff like that when he was out there he's kind of like watering out in the woods and everything uh but this was really fun like a really fun kind of like um with them out there trying to fight this dragon and what they're going to do. And it, I don't know, this is one I would definitely recommend you guys check out. Very, very fun movie. And the next one I got here is from MovieZing.com. And I have a link below where you guys can order this one for the best price. And this is also from uh, Freestyle Releasing. It's a movie here called uh, Animals. And this one is basically, though, about these two girls who are, like, you know, good friends, have been friends for years, and kind of, like, they're always out partying, messing around, drinking. They kind of, like, don't really have a lot of responsibilities, and they don't really take things too serious. They're kind of, And they're getting older. They're getting into the later 20s and kind of just like messing around a lot and it's basically though about the one sister has gotten pregnant and, and, and she, she's like starting to get more serious and then her family's kind of looking at her like well why aren't you like getting settled down and why aren't you kind of like being more serious with, with your careers and your lives and all this kind of stuff why are you messing around so much and so it's kind of like about one of the girls kind of trying to sort of change things up a little bit but then there's like the, because of that though there, there's some arguments between them because like the one's starting to get more serious and the one's still messing around and it's all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of like a, a thing about, you know, a movie about basically people who are trying to kind of figure out how to grow up, you know, a little bit and kind of like change what they're doing and stuff like that, but at the same time not exactly knowing how to do some of that kind of stuff. So that's essentially what it's about. Like I said, this one here is called um, Animals. The next one I got here is from um, from Warner Brothers. This is from the Warner Archive, and they sent out our free copy. This one, late guys, know this one is available. And this is the the, uh, the series which airs on HBO called Avenue 5. And this is a fun series. Like, um... It's basically, though, about this um, kind of it's like a spaceship that goes, you know, it's basically this huge spaceship. It's set in the future where people go on like missions where they go up on like kind of like a space cruise. It's basically like a, cru like a cruise ship in space. So they basically go up there on this cruise ship. And um, what ends up happening, though, is they, there's all sorts of problems with this cruise ship. It's kind of like the Titanic. It's like they, there's all these kind of problems. And like the, um, the communications with Earth is all delayed. So there's like a weird delay. It's like if, if somebody talks. So like it's like 30 seconds later they hear what they're saying it's all these kind of problems but what ends up happening though is something happens in the in the um the spaceship kind of like 
goes off course and then like all the people in the middle area of the of the ship are like out there all doing yoga and there's like this big group of people doing yoga and they all push into the side of the ship mess the whole thing up all these people get injured and everything and the ship gets totally off course and it ends up uh, you know this this cruise which should be like i think like two weeks or something ends up like the trajectory of when it will get back to earth is like a couple of number of years so it's basically them all up in space kind of panicking and what they're going to do and kind of how these people are going to get along and he kind of follows around different people who are up there like a couple and Josh Gadge character and the captain who's not really you find on the very first episode is just like an actor pretending to be a captain and all these people kind of have to figure out how to what they're going to do up there he was making me think a little bit of like the movie Passengers almost like what it would be like you know in, in Passengers is basically about the two characters on the ship that woke up but you know um, you know in Passengers though it was like if, if the whole ship was awake on that ship it would kind of be like what this ship was like that's what I was kind of thinking of but it has on here though feature wise as the cast goes behind the scenes providing insight in the story and characters uh, Josh Gad commercial Josh um uh, Herman Judd promotes space tourism aboard Avenue uh, Spaceship Avenue Five. As on here, uh, Zach Woods commercial. Matt, Matt Spencer, head of passenger services, discusses the different amenities found on the luxury cruise ship. Uh, the other one here is from um, from uh, Blue Underground. This is a 4K release, and this is one that I had never seen before, which is directed by William Lustig, who you know who also did uh, you know the Maniac Cop films. He did Maniac. Always really like his movies, but this is one I had never seen before. Like I said, this is uh, from Blue Underground, and this is a revenge film here uh, called Vigilante. And this one has a really cool lenticular uh, cover on here, and this is a movie which stars the the late uh, Robert Forrester and Fred Williamson. Uh, Robert Forrester though is always great. Like he. He was every, I've, I've seen everything he was in. He was always amazing. Especially loved him in the most recent, you know, season of Twin Peaks. But he's always so good. And this is, you know, like I said, one that I had not seen before from William Lustig. I don't know how I never did. And it's basically though about like. Um, these guys that all work together and like um, they, there's a lot of like crime and stuff that's going on in the town and, and where they are and like dangerous kind of stuff and there's like a gang of these really bad guys and stuff like that kind of like warriors a little bit and like um, basically though um, you know something happens to um, to Robert Forster's Forster's character's family and then basically that kind of encourages him even more so because he's even talking about the people that he works with about joining, joining like a vigilante group kind of crime fighting and you know kind of getting rid of these bad guys and going after them and everything Thing because the police aren't doing anything uh, but when something happens to his family and people that he knows then he it kind of encourages them to really do it so it's basically a vigilante film but really fun movie though like I said I've never seen this one kind of like um, like the Charles Bronson movies a little bit it has like kind of all those kind of um, vibes to this one but it has on here though feature wise has a commentary track on here with the director and well as the co-producer has a brand new commentary on here with film historians Troy Harworth and Nathan uh, Nathaniel Thompson it has a uh, brand new uh, blue uh, uh, a blue collar death wish interviews on here with the writer interview with some of the stars an interview with on here with the first ad an actor uh has on here interview on here with the composer a theatrical trailer it has on here a collectible uh, booklet with a um essay on here by michael gilgood on here and i'll show you guys a look inside now this one has the the 4k version of the film as well as a um blu-ray version of the film here as well also in here though is a booklet which has some stills from the movie stuff about the production all that kind of stuff here um, as well. But a really, really cool release. And also 4K-wise here too. Looks uh, great here on 4K. Really, really great transfer on here. Uh, and like I said, really cool lenticular uh, cover on here too on the slip cover. Uh, the other one here, this one here is from uh, MVD. And this is from the um, MVD Rewind collection. I always love too, the original Rewind collection releases when, the one, when they're brand new and they have the slip covers. I love these slip covers on them because they have their age to look like old VHS tapes. And it has like you know aging on the slip cover and has stickers on here like you know please rewind me a fast line video a free pickup and delivery has on here must be 18 to rant adult action and this is a movie which stars drew barrymore and james lagrosse i don't know what else james lagrosse was from what was he was i i don't know for sure i said he was in drugstore cowboy but i don't know what other movies that he was in or not uh but this is um you know this is a movie here called gun crazy and i remember seeing this one years and years 
back. This was made around the same time. I think it came out um, a little bit after, um, you know, uh, Poison Ivy, but I believe this was shot around the same time as Poison Ivy. And this was kind of when Drew Barrymore was starting to kind of like getting into doing more uh, like adult kind of roles. You know, when she was getting, to, I think she was like. 17 or 18 when she did this movie so it was kind of like when she was starting to do when she did poison ivy she started doing more like adult kind of roles like that and kind of switching over because she had like a period of time too when she was she kind of, she was doing like stuff i don't know if any of you guys remember this but I, and i remember hearing about this when she was kind of trying to start over again she was doing like almost background extra stuff in some bigger movies and, and a couple of ones that no one really knew that she did and i remember hearing about that there was like and, but this was kind of right when she started having a big comeback with uh, poison ivy and then it came into doing um uh what was the other one like um like the probably around yeah, I think right after Poison Ivy, then she started doing I think like Boys on the Side, I think it was called, and, and then that was kind of when she started really coming back. But I always liked this movie. It kind of is like um, uh, it's like a Bonnie and Clyde kind of movie about Drew Barrymore's character, who like she's kind of ha comes from this bad home life, and she's got all these kind of problems that are happening to her, and all these terrible things, and she be starts to write into this guy in prison. And it's basically like a pen pal, and the guy gets out of prison. He gets you know you know um out of prison after being there and basically she connects with him and sees him in person it's kind of them going on this kind of crime spree thing it's a it's a crazy movie but i always really like this one uh the director of the film she also directed a uh, crossroads it was um you know uh tamara davis and she also did billy madison which is like i absolutely love billy madison um you know but on here though uh feature wise this has on here a commentary track on here with the director as well as drew barrymore it has a brand new making of gun crazy which is an 80 um eight minute documentary on here has portrait of director Tamara Davis. Uh, has five behind-the-scenes clips on the set of Gun Crazy. Uh, making of Gun Crazy original 1992 featurette. Uh, two theatrical trailers on here, and also has in here too a um, and all, yeah, it also has reversible artwork. This is the cover I remember back in the day. I think I rented it like this on VHS or something like that back in the day. I remember it really well. And then here's a look though at the poster artwork on here. And that's one thing that's really cool too. The the MVD Marquee Collection they have the um, original you know, poster artwork in here. Here as well a little mini uh, poster but definitely a very very cool you know seldom talked about a uh, Drew Barrymore movie like I said this one here is called Gun Crazy uh, the other one here uh, this one here is from um, Chemical Burns Entertainment and this is called The Horror Box now this one though uh, this is this one has three different movies on here uh, one of them is a documentary but it has uh, Blood Tales which is an anthology it has self tape and terror on film. Now, the one I wanted to talk to you guys about was Self Tape. Now, Self Tape is one that you guys can see me in. Uh, it's a movie, though. It's it's done, you know, basically, though, about people who are all auditioning for this horror movie. So they're all auditioning for horror movies. So I kind of like, I'm in the uh, in the Self Tape one. Uh, Danny the Sinistalker from YouTube, he's also, in, you know, acting in it. And, like, it's basically following around a group of different people who are all auditioning for this movie. And, like, it kind of, like, it's, like, one audition after another, and the auditions just kept keep getting more and more intense and crazier as they go along, the, the things that people are asked to do and that kind of stuff. But, like I said, I want to let you guys know that this one uh, was available, and this one is called Horror Box from Chemical Burns. Like I said, the one that you see me and Danny Sinistarker in is called uh, Self Tape. And the next one I got here is from Full Moon. This is a really, really cool release here. Now, this is the um, brand new uncut version of Taurus Trap here. Now, this is the Blu-ray edition, but it's in a box to look like an old school big box uh, VHS of the film. So a really, really cool uh, box that this one is in here. Like I said, it's to look like an old school, like, you know, an 80s big box uh, VHS tape that you'd like rent in the store. And it, But in here, though, it's the Blu-ray version of the film. It has the Blu-ray. It also has a DVD copy of it as well, but it's the uncut version. Because when this came out to uh, Blu-ray originally, it was not the uncut version. So this is the longer cut of the film. But in here, though, I'll show you guys, though, a look inside. And here's how it opens up here from the top. And in here, though, it has the... Um, the Blu-ray of the film, like I said, it has the, um, so in here it has the Blu-ray and the DVD, and on here too it also has a commentary track on here with the director, it has rare trailers, and as well as an interview on here with the director. If you guys have never seen Tourist Trap though, it's basically about the this weird tourist trap that people like kind of wander in, and it's like the guy has all these weird kind of like um, mannequins and all these really creepy mannequins and stuff in there, and basically people end up, these people that go there, weird sort of things start to happen to them when they're there. It's a really, really 
you know, crazy, trippy movie. I always really like the film. It has really cool music as well. And also it has in here, too, a little mini figure of the main character, Mr. S Mr. Slauson, in here. That has, like a, like, a bio about him on here in the back and everything. But a very, very cool release. Like I said, I always love these kind of ones that are done, you know, to look like a VHS tape. One of the other ones here to let you guys know was available as well from um, from Full Moon. This is um, Blade, the Iron Cross. This is the latest in the Puppet Master series of films. And this, you know, this is like when it continues on after the last film. And I thought this was actually a pretty cool uh, series. And this is like dealing with like this crazed doctor who's doing all these kind of weird experiments and stuff like that. And then the puppets are there and everything. But it's a, it's a really, really cool movie. On here, though, it has a director's commentary on here. It has behind the scenes videos as well as trailers on here. Like I said, just want you guys know that this one was available. And the last one here to let you guys know is available as well and this one here is from um, MVD and this is a documentary here and this is uh, Chuck Berry the original king of rock and roll and this is a film here by John Brewer and this one has on here, though, feature-wise, more than 100 minutes of new and exclusive interviews on here with Gene Simmons, Alice Cooper, Steve Van Zatt, uh, George uh, Thor Thorgood, Joe Perry, Niles uh, Lofgreen, Loaf uh, Niles Rogers, Joe Barmasa, Ingrid Berry, uh, Charles uh, Berry Jr., and more. So and that, so it has, over, like I said, over 100 minutes of uh, special features on here with uh, bonus interviews on this one here. But anyway, though, guys, that was all for the review portion of this video. And like I always say, if you guys enjoy these videos, I'll definitely give this video a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching and subscribing, and I'll see you guys later.